Hello, boys and girls. Good morning, almost afternoon. Welcome back to room nine. It's Dr. Sanders again. I'm here for you. I hope you're here for me. I'm in the largest classroom in the region, and I'm here to teach some pre-K and kindergarten ELA and math or reading and math. And remember, you remember what school I work at? That's right, Adams Elementary in the St. Louis Public School District. And I'm here to have some fun. This is the last day of the fir first week. This is the last day of the first week. And we'll be ready to go. Are you ready to go? Oh, I'm not yet? That's right, I have to take off my hat. That's right, I gotta take off that hat. St. Louis Browns. Gotta take off my hat. All right, before, you get before we get started, remember we have to look and see what we're talking about today. Even though this is for pre-kindergarten pre and kindergarten, remember, it doesn't matter who you are, you probably can learn something because I learn something every day when I come and teach in room nine. I learn something from you and I hope you learn something from me. So let's look at our topic. Our topic this week, again, we already said it, pre-K and K, reading and math. Remember, reading can also be ELA. ELA. Some people say language arts. Uh, math can be math, mathematics. And then those old people, remember what they call it? Say that big word. Repeat after me. Arithmetic. Say, say it. Arithmetic. Go home or say, say, Mommy, arithmetic. Daddy, arithmetic. All right. So uh, we talked about how we're going to talk about a lot of ELA or reading. So we'll start with ELA and reading, and then we'll get in, we'll probably read a book. You like when I read books? I like reading books too, whether you like it or not. And then we'll do some math, and then it'll be time for me to go for the week, and then I'll see you next Monday with some more good stuff. But, so let's get started. Hmm, ELA, what's something we can do in ELA? Letters! You're right. So let's look at some letters. Remember, we have my a, a nice little letter chart behind us. We have some letters up there already with the little chips on there. And we're going to add some more today. Probably next week, we'll start all over. And you'll be like, we already did those. But that's just because we this week is just showing you everything that we can do. And we'll do different things with the letters as well. So let's pick up some letters that I have right here. Ooh, what letter is that? Why? 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 What sound does Y make? That's one of those interesting sounds. Because it doesn't sound anything like the letter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yo, yo. You, got, you have a word? Yes, you're exactly right. It does. Y starts the letter S. Uh, starts the word yes. So let's find our Y. Oh, there we go. That's the letter Y. All right, you ready for our next letter? This is the letter O. Exactly. O. O is one of those special letters. It has two sounds. It has a long sound and a short sound. The short sound is ah. Everybody say ah. Ah, like octopus. Exactly. And what else? October. Your birthday is in October? Ooh, I can't. In October, I'm going to make sure I wish you a happy birthday. October. Ostrich. Can you make your neck like an ostrich? Long? Yes. Okay, let's find the letter O up on our board. Oh, I forgot. That's the short sound is O. The long, the short sound is I. The long sound is O. Yes, like, I, not October, Mr. Sanders. Open. Yes. Any other word, logo? Only? Yes. 
So that's the long O. Long O is O. That's when the letter says his name. And the short, the short sound is I. Let's find the letter O. There we go. Now we have another letter. What letter is this? K. Yes, that's the letter K. K for kick. No, don't kick your brother. Don't kick your sister. Kind. Yes, that's right. Be kind. Let's find the letter K up on our board. You want to do another one? Okay, let's do two more letters and then we'll talk about some words and some sentences. Here we go. This is the letter. I heard, yes, that's right. That's the letter I. I is another one of those special letters called a vowel. Everybody say vowel. Vowel, the, the letter says, I'm sorry, I says two things. It has a long sound and a short sound. The long sound is I. The short sound is I. A word like igloo, for short, I, igloo, is I. Ooh, ice. Ooh. Ice feels hot. No, no, it's cold. Ice. Ice cream. Mmm. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for bubble gum. Ha ha, I fooled you. And the, uh, let's, so let's find the letter I. There it is, goes right there. Then we have another letter. We're going to do two letters at the same time. We have a W, and then we have a what? M. They almost look the same, don't they? Like, we could turn it this way, and it'll be two what? M's, M and M. Or we could turn it this way, it'll be two W's. But this is the letter M. This is the letter W. So that's, W makes the W sound like an washing machine. And whistle. So that's the W. Let's find W. And this is the letter M. And what sound does M make? Money. Who likes money? Me. Me. I like money. More. Can I have some more food? Can you have some more food? And for more. All right, boys. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to spell words. We have a couple words we've been working on. We'll just finish these words this week, and then we'll add them to a um, we'll add them to a chart as well, so we can practice our sight words. We have the letter. Remember yesterday I messed up, and I have two ends, double N. What word is this? N. That's right. That's the letter. That's the word N. What letter is this? I. What letter is this? N. And that spells N. So let's spell the word in. Read it. In. Say the letters. I in. Read it one more time. In. That's right, boys and girls. We worked on that word. We also worked on what's this word right here? That's the word two. Let's look at our letters. What letters do you see? Yep, that's a O, and that's a T. So that's T O. Let's spell two together. Let's read it. Two. Let's spell it. T O. Let's read it again. Two. That's the word two. You know an another thing in reading at ELA we're gonna work on because we spell words. But what's the first word that you think you should know how to spell? And, well, yes, you can spell in. Maybe, Mom. What about your name? What about your name? This is my name right here. My name is 
doctor. I don't have the doctor up there. I have Sanders because that's my last name. Sanders. And I, I know how to spell my name. It's S-A-N-D-E-R-S. S-A-N-D-E-R-S. You want to mimic me? S A N D E R S. Now let's spell that word, put a little rhythm to it. S A N D E R S. So we're going to work on spelling our own names. And what I want you to do is maybe you can make your name card. We'll make your name card. And what I'll do is I'll make a name card and maybe I'll choose your name and we'll practice spelling your name. Can I spell everybody's name every day? No, it's too many of you all, but I'll try to get everybody's name in by the end of the fall. But we'll practice spelling, spelling each other's names. All right, boys and girls. I know you've been sitting a little while. Everybody take a deep breath in. Out. In, out, hands up, stretch real wide, make a lot of noise, say, ah! All right, stretch out, oh, I say, boogity, 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 boo. Boogity, 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 bay. All right, boys and girls, it's time for us to read a story, a book. Are you ready for the story? All right, I hope you're ready. The name of our book today is called Flying. Flying. Who would like to fly? Would you like to fly? Ooh, flying would be fun. Like you could fly over your school. You could fly over your house and look down and wave to your mommy. Maybe you can fly and sit in a tree in a bird's nest. But the name of this book is Flying. This is the what? Right, front cover. This is the spine. And what does the spine do? That's right, hold you together. What if you didn't have a spine? You would be a big blob rolling around on the ground. And this is the back cover. And the author of this book, and he also illustrated, is Kevin Luthart. Kevin Luther, the author, writes the words in the story. What does the author do? Writes the words in the story. And the illustrator does what? The illustrator draws the pictures. And sometimes the illustrator and author are the same. And the author, Kevin, he's both the illustrator and the author. And I'm reading this book with permission from the publisher of the book, which is Peak Street Publishing. And they gave me permission to read this book to share with you so we can learn something. Flying. And this page right here is the title page. Flying. You see what kind of book he's reading? It's called A Big Book of Birds. So it looks like he's thinking about flying, right? He's imagining himself flying. Papa, why can't I fly? Because, son, you don't have wings. But, why don't I have wings? Well, that's because you have arms. Well, why do I have arms, Papa? Why do I have arms, Papa? To hold your hands, of course. But 
Why do I have hands? Because hands are good for grabbing. And swinging. What else are hands good for? Mm. And tossing. And flying. Look at all the things that he's flying over and with. I can fly, Papa. Maybe I do have wings. Maybe we both do. Papa, why can't I breathe underwater? What does he want to be now? Yeah, a fish. Can you breathe underwater? No, but you can do what? Go swimming. Some people go scuba diving. And that was our book, Flying. Boys and girls, tell me something you liked about that story. The little boy was flying. Yes. His daddy made him fly. Yes. I fixed my hair. Right. Yes, yes, that's right. I want you all. Let's imagine, he used his imagination. That's because he was thinking about it inside his head. So what I want you to do is close your eyes. Yeah, everybody close their eyes. Right, right, Cody, make sure you close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're flying like a bird or like an eagle or any bird that you want to be or like an airplane. All right, what are you flying over? Keep your eyes closed. Tell me what you see. Jackson, what is something you see? Oh, you see a building? Uh-huh. What about you, Jennifer? Oh, you see the arch. Oh, I see the arch too. Okay, what else do you see while you're flying? Oh, you see the cars fly? They look do they are they, you real about are they real are you really up high so they look really small like little ants? Yes, I yes. So sometimes you can use your, your use your imagination to do different things. All right. Um so what was your favorite part of the story? I already asked you that. I'm sorry. My favorite I'll tell you my favorite part. When his papa had him up in the air and was flying him around. But make sure you don't do that on your own. Don't pick up your little sister. Oh, don't, don't put your little sister down. Don't make her fly. You got, got to be real careful. Okay, but you can just imagine sometimes. Just flying all over the place. 
All right, boys and girls. Now, everybody stand up. No, never mind. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Stay right there. That's a pattern, right? Stand up. Sit down. All right. We're going to count. We're going to do 10 jumping jacks. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going to nod our head ten times. Are you ready? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're just going to jump up and down ten times. Are you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, raise those shoulders up, up and down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Raise those shoulders up and down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's sit down on three. Are you ready? Remember, one, one, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground. All right, boys and girls, now we're gonna talk a little math. We're gonna talk about a little math, mathematics, arithmetic, whatever you wanna call it. It has to do with numbers and shapes and counting and all just different type of fun stuff so we've been that's right I have to put my number chart up you're right I forgot hopefully you can see it I gotta get it right and make it make sure it's all pretty and stuff for you make sure it doesn't fall down on my head I gotta move out the way so you can see it knock another stuff down are you ready? All right, we're gonna count to 20. We're gonna count to 20. You wanna count together? Or you want me to count and then you can mimic me and then we'll count together. Let's mimic this time and then we'll count together. Next week, we're just gonna count together. All right, here we go. One. Remember, repeat after me. When I say it, then you say it. I'll point to you too to help you, okay? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, some of you are going fast, 18, 19, 20. All right, now you want to do it together one time? All right, let's do it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, slow down, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's right. And then another thing in math is we, we see numbers. We see some shapes up here as well. Then we have patterns. You see it says blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Blue, red. It's a pattern. It's something that repeats itself. We also saw these patterns yesterday. We saw these patterns yesterday, so I'll show them to you again. Remember, it went blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Another thing in math you can do is shapes. So I have some shapes here, and I want you to tell me the shape, and then I'll say the shape, and then we'll say it together. Does anybody know this shape? What is this shape, Elena? 
That's right, a square. Everybody say square. Square. A square has four sides. Look, one, two, three, four. That's a square. Um, let's see. What is this shape? Has three sides. One, two, three. A triangle. Right. That is a triangle. What is this shape? Oh, that's, yeah, that's a hard one. Let's see how many sides it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides. Ooh, I heard somebody say it. It's an octagon. Everybody say octagon. Right, octagon has eight sides. And what about this shape? Two, sh two short sides and two long sides. That's right. That is a rectangle. Everybody say rectangle. And what about this shape? Ooh, a diamond. Yes, it's a diamond. Another name for it. Say rhombus. Everybody say rhombus. Yes, rhombus. And then we have a... I cut this one out. I hope you can tell what it is. Right, that's an oval. Oval. And we'll do one more today, but we'll talk about all different types of shapes. This is a, it has five sides. One, two, looks like a house. You're right. Three, four, five. That is a pentagon. Everybody say pentagon. All right, boys and girls. And this is more shapes that we're going to talk about. And starting next week, we'll be focusing on different things. Each week, we won't do everything all at once. This week, we wanted to show you all different types of stuff we're going to be talking about. But remember, we're going to always learn how to spell a number word, too. Our, name, our, our number one number word is what? That's right, nine. Because we are in what? Room what? Nine. Let's spell nine. Read it. Nine. N-I-N-E. Read it one more time. Nine. Remember, we're in room nine, the largest classroom in the region. Have a good weekend. See you later. Bye-bye. made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.